Hey comic book friends of mine, this is Chaos and Comics. I am reviewing Guardians of the Galaxy. Number seven, this is the seventh issue in the Donny Cates run, which I have enjoyed. I may have thought like issue three and four felt fillerish. Um, I have enjoyed definitely overall thumbs up to Donny Cates. Uh, with that said, you haven't really gotten that like, this is awesome Donny Cates moment that I've gotten, for example, from Baby Teeth, that I've gotten from Venom. Uh, that I've got from, uh, you know, the, the Thanos story. Uh, I really like the Cosmic Ghost Rider miniseries, but I remember being like, yeah, like excited, you know. So we haven't really got that yet in Guardians of the Galaxy. And, and this is really the, the head title for Cosmic, which supposedly Donny Cates is the showrunner for. Um, so that, none of that's like really come together necessarily. But nonetheless, the title's still really, really, really good, really fun overall. And... Um, I can tell that he has a lot of stuff planned. So we're only in that first arc. Uh, he wanted to deal with Thanos. I want to thank him for not actually bringing Thanos back. Um, just to be honest, I know I shouldn't consider the MCU, but just with the MCU out and everything Thanos has done and that he's written Thanos and, you know, we've had lots of great writers do Thanos. Lemire did Thanos before him, I believe. Um, there's just a lot in the wider universe and multiverse that... We don't need Thanos right now. I mean, Thanos, in my mind, can go the way of the Fantastic Four, um, the way where the Fantastic Four went in the, you know, the previous five, six years before Dan Slott took it over. I'm good on Thanos. I know he'll come back eventually, but there's just a lot of crazy stuff. And Donny Cates introduces uh, some crazy stuff. Uh, the... Um, uh, the Universal Church of Truth is back. And it looks like they came from the future. If you don't know who they are, it doesn't matter. Just know that they need to suck life now. And they are much more powerful and very, very scary. Um, art, there's a new artist on this uh, arc, uh, Corey Smith, who I'm not familiar with. So I'm very excited about that. And I just felt like I was reading a Cosmic Guardians uh, book again. I mean, just by the way, Donny, it seems like, feels like Donny Cates likes to really F with the... Um, really screw with the Nova Corps. I don't know if it's like, like an anti-cop thing, you know, or if he just thinks the Nova Corps are funny to screw around with. But um, I just, uh, so in the comics, for those that don't know, I'm gonna do spoilers here because there's a couple things I wanna, there's a couple pertinent things in this book I'd like to talk about um, that'll make the review better. So just know there are spoilers. This is Jason, I call him Jason. This is Donny Cates' father in the in the earth 616 world in the marvel comics world so it's not ego like it is mcu both cool both can work um so you find out here now typically and this is what i want to talk about as far as donny cates's uh style typically revealing that uh donny cates or donny cates uh star lord's father i think i was calling him donny cates father star lord star lord's father is, uh, is the leader of, of the Universal Church of Truth would be the, the hook at the end. But there's another more personal level. So that's a hook, you know, maybe not last page hook, but that's definitely important for the plot, the good guy versus bad guy sort of plot that's gonna happen that you need that conflict in the book. But one of the things that Donny Cates excels at if you just let him work his stuff is that relationship level, the, the, the actual characters and, and their relationships together. You know, you've seen a little bit of that with Dylan um, that doesn't know that he's uh, Eddie Brock's son in Venom, for example. And that's what happens here because this, it, you know, would have been a fine uh, ending and a lot of writers would have done it and a lot of writers have been good to do it. That's just a good way to end the, the first story of an arc and this is a big spoiler so if you're not sure about me doing that then you need to turn this off now so the uh actual book uh the actual name of the arc is called faithless we do get you know we do have that's clearly rocket's hand someone had been mentioning the death of rocket the first six issues we don't know where rocket's been turns out he's been there the whole time um, and he needs to do some help to help save his friends, but he's been pretty effed up, it looks like. So um, I thought this was an incredible ending to the book. I think that's a beautiful drawing to show. 
Uh, I think that's an actual pretty good surprise after everything that's really happened that Rocket was probably on the ship the whole time. Um, what, what's wrong with Groot is important, is important the, the relationship between Groot and Rocket. For some reason, Groot's not into Rocket. Um, I may have missed something in the Infinity War. I don't know. We'll find out. I'll fill that in either on Comixology or, or on Marvel Online or you know buy the book or read it on Marvel Wiki or something. But I, I'm actually very interested. I actually want to see what's going on. And that's very important. Um, you know, very bloody, interesting cover there. And a hook that really matters. Uh, Guardians of the Galaxy number seven. Chaos and Comics on Twitter and Instagram. Thank you for watching.